Hi, I'm Hunter from Weeby Knives in Dakota Line. And I'm going to show you today how to flush this coon using my favorite Weeby Elite flushing knife. All right, so uh, first thing I like to do is get the coon on here. And I like to pull the skin tight just so you don't get any wrinkles when you're running the blade down. I usually like to start off with the dull side of the blade and just start at the top and you just work your way down, working the fat and, and everything off. Then I like to pull it up a little bit so I can really get get that muscle right in between the ears worked out. See there it comes there. So I'm just trying to work this muscle and fat off and if you can't get under it to get it all all off, you can just just breaking it up really helps the drying process to make sure you get the skin all dried correctly for putting it up. You put it on the board. So if it's not coming, you can just kind of run it down, run it over a few times. But most of the time it, on the coons, it comes up pretty good. So I've been trapping coons for probably about around 10 years now and I really love trapping coons. They're, they're thick around here and I like putting them up too. And uh, yeah, I've caught a lot of coons over the years. They're, uh, they're one of my favorite to target. And then uh, putting them up is something I like to do too. It's, it's enjoying seeing how clean that the skin gets, just working all the fat off. It's going to be a nice one when we get it on the board. Clean my knife off there. Now I'm going to rotate a little bit to get all the other sides. Start at the top again by the cheeks. Try to get under that fat and muscle. Working it down. When I'm doing this, I'm really putting a lot of pressure into it where my, like by my belt buckle. So that way the hide doesn't slide down when I'm pushing down with the knife. And with the arm, just kind of go around it. You can run down it, but sometimes, sometimes you'll uh, get a nick in the arm and then rip it. So you got to kind of be careful. Maybe pull it off to the side, get the fat over here. You can pretty much get them flushed in four sides. If you do the back side, rotate them, do one side, rotate it, do the belly, and then the opposite side. That's what I like to do. Works pretty good. I don't know if you notice this, but I'm wearing the Weeby apron. I like to always just put it on whenever I'm doing fur handling because it just keeps my clothes clean. I don't have to worry about my wife getting after me and dirty clothes and stinky clothes. So. The Weeby apron really keeps my clothes clean and wife happy. We're getting pretty close to the end here. All the fat and meat's bundling up here. So uh, yeah, we'll just run it all the way off, off the hide here. And we'll just keep kind of working it around as we go. But you can just kind of put steady pressure down and it just peels right off. Working it down here, I like to work it off to one side of the tail, then I'll flip it and go off to the other side of the tail. And then when I get most of the fat and stuff off, I'll go right down the middle of the tail just to kind of clean that out so that can dry properly when we go put it on the board. As you can see, now we're getting closer to the end. The fat's just falling off. I've used the dull side of the blade this whole time, and that's what works best for me. But uh, I'm sure other people have used different ways, methods of doing it, but this is what I found works pretty good. And 
that's how easy it is flushing with the Weeby Elite. 